The World Health Organization, WHO, says at least a quarter of those hurt in the war raging in Gaza have suffered life-changing injuries, many requiring amputations and other huge rehabilitation needs. At least 22,500 of the people injured in Gaza in the 11 months since the war erupted will require rehabilitation services now and for years to come, the WHO confirmed in a statement. According to the health ministry in Hamas on Gaza, at least 41,118 people have been killed in Israel's retaliatory offensive following the October 7 attack by Hamas militants, while over 95,000 have been wounded. The Hamas attack inside Israel that sparks the war resulted in the death of 1,205 people, mostly civilians, according to Tali, based on official Israeli figures, which also includes hostages killed in captivity. Pointing to a fresh analysis of the types of injuries resulting from the conflict, UN Health Agency said many thousands of women and children figured among those badly injured and that many had suffered more than one injury. It's estimated there had overall been between 13,455 and 17,550 severe limb injuries, which it said were the main driver of the need for rehabilitation. The report showed that between 3,105 and 4,050 limb amputations had occurred. Other life-altering injuries, including spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury, and major burn injuries, it said. At the same time, WHO said only 17 of Gaza's 36 hospitals are currently even partially functional, while primary healthcare services are frequently suspended or inaccessible due to insecurity, attacks, and repeated evacuation orders. Gaza's only limb reconstruction and rehabilitation center, located in Nassar Medical Complex and supported by WHO, ceased functioning last December due to lack of supplies and specialized health workers.